Good morning. Good morning. We are on the Slayberg Bridge, mm -hmm. um, just outside of Waverly. Right. Right. And uh, there is a bit of construction going on, quite substantial construction, I should say. Can you explain to me what's going on? Well, right offhand, uh, on the other side of the river, they're getting ready to pour a footing for one of the piers. Um, this side. Uh, Just getting here, I'm not sure what they're doing here right now, but uh, it looks like they're unloading materials off a truck. But we have uh, we have two piers completely done, uh, one nearing completion here. But we need to pour a cap on the uh, the fourth pier. You can see the steel sticking up here. Mm -hmm. um, the green out there on the uh, out to the middle of the river, there is still the uh, there's still the old structure still has to come out. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a pier down on the other side, Pier 1. Uh, they're going to pour the footing on that Pier 2 on the other side. So this is like a $2.5 million project? Uh, it's two, just short of $2.3 million. $2.3 million project. And when is it uh, supposed to be done? Well, uh, by, by contract, they had a late start date of 4-7-2014, and they had 120 working days. That would have got you to the last part of September to be completed. And so, so you, you think they'll be on time, the, the late, you know, in late September to be well, done? This, this contract was really set up that they could have free winter work uh, before that date. And they started work actually on, what was it, uh, February 10th. And those winter days, winter work at, those period, at that period of time, was there was no charge. So they were hoping with that winter work and the 120 days they have that we started charging, they would have been done the middle of the latter part of August. Well, this spring, this early winter, or late winter, it was so doggone cold. Not much work got done during that free period of time. Um, so we're, they're behind schedule. So, so do you know how this would affect farmers and, and also the school buses, the, the school year is just around the corner? We were initially hoping to have this bridge done like in, in, in mid-August, everything went click-click and could take full advantage of the free work. But now, it's like we're going to be slipping into uh, the latter part of September, May, the 1st of October for a completion. Yeah, we're going to impact harvest in, in the school, school bus routes. Can you can you tell me quickly about the, the, uh, the work itself? Uh, do you know how many, uh, how long the bridge is and what exactly they are fixing? Well. We're replacing a uh, 550 foot by 28 foot continuous welded girder, steel girder bridge, and we're replacing it with a 150, excuse me, 590 feet by 30 foot pre-stressed, pre pre-stressed, uh, pre post-tension concrete uh, beam bridge. So the bridge will be longer by about 40 feet and a little bit wider. And the reason for the repair or was because it was not holding up, it did not pass inspection? What, what was the reason? Um, the the bridge was, uh, the original bridge was built back in the 60s. Uh, it had his, probably its useful lifespan. The existing, de the deck on the old bridge was badly deteriorated. Uh, we initially looked at uh, replacing just the, uh, the superstructure, the deck portion of the bridge, but uh, looking at those numbers was pretty close to having a bridge that was going to cost a replace a repair of a bridge that was going to cost fairly close to the replacement cost um, plus you'd be putting a, a, a bridge on structures substructure the piers and the abutments that were built back in the 60s so it was thought to be best to replace the entire structure so really the, uh, the bottom line is Delay in work into September, and 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 uh, hopefully this will be done in September. That'd be our hope, yes. 
if things go click click. <laughs> and if they don't, do you anticipate going into October or November? It it, it could go into October. Um, things usually don't go click click. From no, my no. For example, they've been flooded out uh, three times this this spring with floodwaters, and we basically lost a week each time the water came up where they couldn't work. So, it, you know, it, continuity and things going click, click, don't go click, click anymore. Yeah, and they truly really don't go click, click in life. Mm -hmm. uh, rarely they do. Um, well, thank you so much for talking to the Waverly Newspapers. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it.